Now we turn to number three in our series on the great controversies. This one's entitled Light Shines in the Darkness. And the Bible is full of that kind of imagery of how the light dispels the darkness because light is something you could even say yes we have some issues in science of trying to decide whether it's a wave or a particle and all the rest of that what are photons really but they are real darkness is simply the absence of all of that the absence of light and the way to dispel the darkness is to expose it to the light and when Jesus came into the world he was the light the light of the world and I'm a bit disappointed that we don't have that particular comment from John chapter 1 in our notes for this time that he was the light that lights everyone who comes into the world he's the one who provides light we often say that we see because we have light and we use the word see to also mean that we understand this is the way that we understand things because we see and so there in all those materials that uh, we have there from John Proverbs Acts Thessalonians Psalms and Corinthians second Corinthians we see what God has been trying to do all through this time. He is the light. We just seen the image of the sun. That is the light that shines. And we know that on planet Earth, every form of light is dependent on that light. And it, life would not exist unless there was the light. And there's a symbol of what's happening in our spiritual lives, I think. Take a look at those uh, ideas and the biblical summary and try and understand what this light is doing in terms of exposing the darkness. Jesus said in John 8, 44, that Jesus, the, the devil was a liar and a murderer from the beginning. In John 8, 44, Jesus says that the devil was a murderer from the beginning and we're told to invest in truth in proverbs and you go on and on uh, jesus tells the people there in john 12 the light is here with you for a little longer in fact it would be a great idea if you went through the gospel of john and just marked every time the word light is used because it is john's favorite symbol i think to explain or to identify what is true and right and good the light is here with you a little while longer he's referring to himself walk while you have the dark light so that the darkness doesn't overtake you those who walk in the dark don't know where they're going put your trust in the light while you still have it so that you can become children of light and that's what we're called to be isn't it children of light we are not children of darkness there's plenty of other material there in the new testament that also speaks of us being children of light not being partakers of the darkness not identifying with the dark side as it were but making sure we are part of the light now how does that all relate to the great controversy well as jesus came he says anyone who's seen me has seen the father that's what god is like and jesus is the one who enlightens there's the word light again us and all those who want to know who wish to know about what is true and good and right in contrast to all the lies and misconceptions spread by the devil so there's certainly a lot of things to think about in terms of what are we doing how is this working out how is the light dispelling the darkness and what are we praying for uh, the great controversy will only end when we are convinced and the whole of the world makes their final choice as to whether they want to follow the light or the dark that's as simple as it gets so 
think about this as you study and may you come to an enlightened conclusion.